some of it's been getting through. I, I, I don't know, but I, I'm kind of hoping that some of it's been, uh, been getting in there. You know, I, it's, it's great to have the lines here. You know, so much of, of scouting is, is really just all about uh, what you guys put into it. I mean, scouting is basically just a sandbox. It's uh, an opportunity for you guys because it's, you know, the, these older folks at the back, we get to come witness things, but it's for you guys to organize, for you guys to decide what the fun stuff is, what it is that you want to do, where you want to go with it. But it's a shared sandbox. It's not just something where you guys can go in and make a mess and it'll be fixed the next time you go in, it'll be nice and clean. You guys have got a legacy you've got to pass on. It's, uh, you know, one of the things that Isaac Newton said was that if I can see so much further than everyone else, it's because I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. Well, guess what, guys? You're the giants for the next generation. What you do, what you choose to make 730 into is what the next generation will have to live with. So the question is, are you making it better or are you making it work, worse? Is it something that you are working turn your patrol, your position, into something that's a little bit better each time. And I hope you are. I hope you are. I, at the end of his time, Baden Powell wrote a letter. He actually put it away for when, uh, after he had passed away, they could be read out uh, to scouts all around the world. And it was a really interesting letter. It had all sorts of sentiments about scouting and what it meant to him. But one of the most fascinating part of the whole letter is right at the very end. Because he, in his traditional wisdom that Baden Powell offered, he gave them two words. Be prepared. And one of the things that made it so insightful was at the end of his time, he said, and I am prepared. I am more than prepared to hand over responsibility of scouting to you, to the next generation. He could lie down content that he had done his bit. So the question is, are you guys ready to hand on to the next generation? To make sure that you are moving us forward, the sandbox is clean, everything's worked out, and the next generation will step into your shoes and 730 will continue forward in the traditions that Mr. Lang and his family remembers so well. He signed off his letter with your friend, Baden Powell. And I think that's the key to the whole thing. It's all about friendship. It's all about helping each other and being there for each other. So thank you for listening to me. It's been a fun two years of uh, standing up here, not having to uh, be badly heckled by my son. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your uh, support. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, for the last time, I guess, back to you.